there, everyone, and welcome back to TNO, the last series of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and right now, we are at war with the, uh, well, the OFM, the entire OFM. Um, except for the Central American states, but we're also at war with them. We've already, well, we've done pretty darn well so far. Of course, it does help sink in, help, help it when you sink enemies, convoys and such, but we've got some comms to go through. We've got a lot of Central America to go through. We'll do the best we can. No guarantees for anything, but let's go to, well, I guess we just got Tegucigalpa. Uh-oh, uh-oh. What happened over here? Okay, not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Ooh, our fleets are meeting each other. Ooh, look at that. The American fleet. They got quite a few carriers. Look at that. They're, some are, Most are leaving, but some are coming in. Oh, baby, go, go, go. Oh, there goes Honduras. Too. Great. And Nicaragua. Come on, boys. We already have the advantage. All ships are already in here. Oh, don't get sunk. Come on. Seek more stuff. Seek more stuff. Oh, actually, do we need more carrier planes? We need a lot more anti-tank. Wow. A lot more anti-tank. Um, We need a lot more transport helicopters. Holy cow. Why are we out so much? No, we're doing okay there. Advanced jet fighters, jet CVs, a jet cast. We've got a lot of that. Um, hmm. All right. Well, that's interesting. That's different. Anti advanced anti tank. Let's go with that. And you know what? I'll do it like this. There you go. Go to fifty. Um, seven a day. Advanced attack helis. Transports. Yeah, the trans advanced transports are here too. Go to ten. Go to fifty. We don't need this many casts. So, and these guys are looking okay as well. So. Hmm. Let's go down to 30 for now. I think that'll be okay. So, um, advanced jet fighters, you go down to 5. That's fine for now. You don't want 30 for main battle tanks, which is a ton. Um, we really need more. Uh, we can probably go down to 5 more here. 23, so we get at least a little more anti tank. Um, this is not looking bad. Don't give me oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We just keep sinking so much here. Look at this bat. Oh my gosh. So that's seven al enemies. So one carrier, 29 destroyers for a total of 40 planes. Holy smoky fathers. Wow, I like that. And I hope you guys like that too. Um, I don't have upgrades. You know what? How would you all just go and repair? Go and repair, see what you can do. It's a little lag. Oh, hello. Who is red here? Look at that lag. Oh, yeah. Oh, we need to take out the group too. Cool. Go on in, guys. Billy should be pretty easy to take out. Okay, ice has been called in. Ten more convoys have been destroyed. Great. Great, great, great. We do have the American Navy up here. We do have our planes up here operating as well, which is very good. Anything else? Oh, we still got another carrier. Three more destroyers. Nice. We lost quite a few planes. Exchange for 12 enemy convoys. We sunk seven American ships or subbies. That's nice, nice, nice. Come to Cologn. That'd be great, great, great. More convoys, more convoys. How many Americans have died so far? 138,000. That's like nothing compared to the actual manpower, but still. You want peace, America? What are we doing here for focus? Destroy it forward air bases. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. So. Cool. Um. Hmm. Hopefully we do okay. Guiana's been called. I mean. We already have our tanks in here. I'm really not too worried about that. Edge detection is very good. Let's go ahead and keep going with this stuff. Because this will be kind of helpful as well. Getting less air accidents. Bad, less bad weather penalty. Better night operation stuff. You know, that's always good to get. And with these guys here, we can really help to sink a lot more convoys. How many people are... And not, no one's repairing. Holy crud. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. We've killed off so many carriers. So three more! Holy smoky fathers. I thought our fleet was trash. And it sort of is, I guess. But still. Not bad. Two more... Oh my gosh. Two friggin' destroyer. Not bad. Holy crud. Yeah, the American Navy is kind of trash. I mean, I don't think ours was very good. We literally had to rebel almost all of it. Um, anything else here? Sorry, I just... I'm just like, wow. Ah, there's our subs. Ah, we're gonna lose a few subs here, there, and there, but whatever. Happens, you know. Okay, we lost one sub. There you go. Panama Canal Zone, great. Um, I don't really want to attack Mexico until we have more of our choppers up here. But Rexcom will start Latin America is looking pretty darn good. I'm not gonna lie. I like what I'm seeing here, man. Ah, uh, Gut Bastian. Doing a great job, my friends. Doing a tremendous job. And McNamara's still leading, so which is fine. Um, it hasn't even been a few days yet either, so we can probably close out of that. Military's demands. Destroy fort air bases. Cool. Very, very cool. Close out of that. Close out of that. No one really cares. We only have four. <laughs> we have 444 nuclear reactors. Nice. Just, just. <sighs> it brings a smile to my face. So if you want, I don't know if I told you about this one or this one. If you want to read them, let's go ahead. The OFN's poem. 
po peon. Unsurprisingly, given the fact that its leader is a dominant of either American continent, the OFN has their toady in South America, Guiana. Luckily for us, the OFN has not made much of an effort to support the small, pitifully ragtag state over the years, and is positively right for the taking. The thunder breaking then will serve as an excellent warm-up once their allies come rushing down to their own deaths. Oh, okay, so now we actually lost. So we did sing 10. But we did lose... Okay, we lost a sub. That's, for that's not bad. That's not bad, man. That's not bad. Four more enemy subs. Okay, how, how, how many ships? Ooh, we're actually losing some planes here. Just don't lose ships. Um, oh, we actually lost some convoys or something? That's not good. Ooh. Just don't lose ships. That's what I'm most worried about. Just don't lose ships. Another ca another carrier. Destroyer. Another carrier. How many ships How many ships do you have left? Oh, we need to see America very soon. Two frigates. A frigate and corvette. Um... McNamara, dude. They have a ton of ships still, though. Holy crap. That's a case. We gotta get some more planes out. Um, jet fighters, jet fighters. I know at the end of the last episode we pushed out quite a few. So I'll do that again. There you go. A lot. There you go. And come on, deploy, 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 deploy. God dang, it takes a long time for me to do that, that's fine. Nice. Look at all that. So many convoys, we lost a sub, whatever. Three more ships, couple more ships. Early destroyer. We lost two planes for a few more screens. Not bad, not bad. Anything here? Yes, an early cruiser hull. Nice. Uh oh, we lost another sub, that sucks, but whatever. Overall, it could be all so much worse. Worse? Worst. Worse. Nice. Mexico. I do want to kill off Mexico really badly. Um, you guys are losing, but that's alright. Do our admirals not have any more, like, upgrades or anything like that? Operation Maximilian. Despite being known for being under Spanish rule for most of its history, a German did indeed once rule over the island of Mexico. Emperor Maximilian of Mexico, unfortunately, he only reigned a short amount of time before the ungrateful Kurs overthrew him and murdered him, ending the land of German monarchs in the Americas prematurely. Oh, how differently things might have gone for us in the First World War had Mexico stood together with us, but perhaps. That was for the best, for out of our defeat rose our triumph of the will of the National Socialism. Still, for the best or not. We cannot overlook the insult to all Germans that was perpetrated in the dry and arid land, and we shall have a remote recompense now. Nice. That's not good. Oh, that's not good either. They still have the convoys down here. They're, no, they're still not done. Like, Their fleet is still pretty chunky. Nice. Two subs. What's going on here? Wrecking convoys go bye-bye. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh. A lot of things going on here. We lost some more planes. Lost more planes. Early destroyers have been sunk. Lost planes. Basic Corvette. Four destroyers and a Corvette. Two destroyers and a Corvette. Oh, my goodness. Oh, cruiser. Ah, that's not bad. And we lost some subs, but whatever. Oh my goodness, we lost 30 planes for two more carriers and a heavy cruiser and six destroyers. Oh, it's so nice, is it not? Just so good. Where's this one? Oh boy. We lost two subs, so be it. Um, who else is destroyed? The West Indies, okay. That's, our allies are trying to do stuff here anyway, so. Two more destroyers, nice. Advanced Jet Cast, don't really care. Oh crap, what happened here? We lost. We lost an allied heavy cruiser. We lost a sub. For exchange for 15 destroyers and a heavy cruiser. Okay, that's not bad. Poor guys, but whatever. More jet casts. It's fine. We only take Kingston. Oh, United States of America. Oh, we need to defend this area a little bit better. Not gonna lie. Um, you guys, head down to Mexico for now. I'm sorry I'm taking a while to like go to war with these guys, but like, holy crud. I hope our planes will be able to stand up to them. Um, ships. Oh, we sunk in a... 70 convoys! Wow! Holy crap! Yeah, um, so, so a couple comments as well. Uh, Kubik is not a German word, apparently. It's like French or something, so. Two more carriers go bye-bye. Someone says, Fall Rockwell is coming. You are 100% correct about that. 100% correct. Let's see. Other comments include, Can we destroy Ron? Yeah, actually, quite a few guys want me to destroy Ron. And if you really want me to, we will, so. That's fine with us. But when we're done with America, we will destroy Iran. Wait, we lost a lot of planes here. That sucks. Okay, it's not bad. Not bad. We lost more planes. I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this. It's just... In TNO, you never have naval battles of any that have any sort of significance, except for, like, now. So. Cool. Ah, there we go. Nice. 
and Operation Icarus, Operation Hydra. Given the U.S. is a relatively competent military, we cannot afford to lay out all of our legs in one basket during our main invasion. Were we to concentrate on one area of the coast, we would make it swamp us with air support and fire until we were driven back into the sea or killed. This is where Operation Hydra comes in. This ingenious solution, devised by Admiral Puthcomer, calls for a multi-pronged invasion of the entire U.S. eastern coast to keep them off balance and overextended. We will also be able to capture multiple cities at once and hopefully force a quick surrender. I surrender more quickly, I suppose, you could say. It's fine. And I apologize for the extreme lag, but I do want to say, like, look at that. Look at the depth. I mean, goring economics just works. It just works, as a certain Todd would say in the past. but Or in the future, technically. But, like, he just wiped away, like, a couple zeros. That's all he did. When in doubt, trust into Herman. Is it Meyer? Goring? What's his middle name? Wilhelm. I think it was Wilhelm, wasn't it? Cool. And we're almost done. With uh, the new war participants. It's fine. A couple comments include, uh, Give the territories to Reichskommissar Arabin. So we'll probably will. And so it says, Go back and do the Wrangle with the Reichstag focus before doing War Plan C, or right after War Plan B. Um, I'll see if I can. There's going to be probably at least one more episode after this, because America has a special little thing we wanted to touch and do. And someone says, Right now, we should have just played as America and hold off the German hordes, basically, and try that out. Yeah, we could try that. That'd be kind of cool. Um, also, since we're here anyways, I just brought it up. Alright. Don't want to forget this one. This little tip. Oh, do we own that? Oh, we own... Oh, okay, so we own all of this. Um... I'm gonna wait to do this. I want to see what comes out of here first, and then we will transfer the territory over there. We'll see. Let's see first. Oh, some castles have been lost. Fine, whatever. There you go. Oh, look, an American Navy. Oh, we lost some ships. It's alright. It's alright. The Jap Japanese... Fo wait, folly. Jesus, there's just so much. Improved frigate. Destroyer. 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 Nice. Convoys. Yeah, 13 more. Okay, how many are dead so far? A third of a million. My goodness. Go, boys, go. See what you can do with the Mexicans. We love Mexicans, but they should really be under us. Convoys. Nice. Lost some more planes. I mean, we're losing a lot of planes, don't get me wrong, but still. Two destroyers, nice. Basic frigate hull. Basic frigate hull. A uh, couple destroyers and such. Frigate, destroyers, corvettes. Ah, another carrier, great! Good god, just keeps... Oh, another carrier. Basic cruiser hull. I'm sure they have a lot of dockyards that replace a lot of their losses, but at the same time, how much can they take? Well, they're 356. They only have 11 carriers. They used to have 18, but now it's 11. They have a lot of destroyers still, and frigates, and stuff like that, and corvettes, but still. Where is it? Does Mexico have an, eight, an army? Nope, nope, they don't. Okay. Okay, Mexico's dead. Okay, then. Um, a really bad idea. Can we just punch through America? Go, go, go! Before McNamara starts launching nukes. Even though we've already disabled it, but whatever. Another tax up. Great. Five or six capital ships. Or screens, I mean screens. Um, destroyers, destroyers, destroyers. Come on, I want more capital ships sunk. Cruisers. Early carrier, nice. The Americans are already... Be we've already taken a little piece of Texas. Nice. Oh, this is nice. This is so nice. Hey, base bleed. More base bleed. Yes, please. This is so weird. I can almost we can almost get that one, but well, not. There you go. And this timeline, it's gotta suck. It'd be like you just oh, we can't launch nukes. Something magical will stop us from using nukes. <laughs> How bad is their armor? It's not really that bad. Oh. Keep going around, boys. They just, they just get obliterated. Holy crap.
I mean, I want to do Operation Icarus. At long last, the time has come for a major direct assault upon the U.S. to commence in earnest. Field Marshal Raymer will handle field operations from here on, while Rex Marshal Shona coordinates the overall campaign from the Führer Bunker. This has been a ba battle decades in the making. Even from the beginning, Hitler knew that the U.S. would make an excellent partner, if not for its, its puppeteering by the Jewish World Order. That sought to keep all pure nations down. Look how far it sunk in that time with its so-called civil rights movement. An anti-fascist pawns in the White House, and one can see how true the late Führer's words were. Well, for one thing is for certain, the Jews will not be allowed to control that nation for much longer. Nice. I mean, yeah, there's Yuma. You want to move in fast enough? There you go. There's a lot of dead ships. Some destroyers and subs. Eight destroyers now. Another carrier and destroyer. Great. Another carrier. Oh my goodness. Subs. Screens. Screens, screens, oh my goodness. Seriously. They have 62 divisions max. We have 179. We, our soldiers aren't even up there yet. They're still flipping Europe. Cool, and they're still trying to get up there. Just go. Go straight for DC. See what you can do. Go for DC, New York City. See what you can do. Nice. Another carrier, another capital ship. Oh, it's so nice, man. Straight through Tennessee, my friends. Have we... We're overrunning more of them. 44 max. Jesus Christ. Just get, just get a few helicopter divisions to take out California, that's all. 47 max, 600,000 have died. Um, Operation Hydra. I guess Icarus is next. You know. I guess kind of let it go. We'll probably lose a few divisions, but that's alright. They strangled the eagle. Their eagle. As the campaign in the American mainland continues to capture resources and supplies, the Americans will no doubt begin to turn to other resources, or sources, to make up their deficit, likely from any remaining allies they have in the OFM, and even from the Japanese Empire, possibly. We'll never allow that to happen. Our subs and bombers will make short work of the convoys. The trade capital of the world will be forcibly returned to splendid isolation in short order. Oh, they just lose 100 convoys? That's very weird to get, but okay. Sounds good to me. It, it just... Oh, do we get cut off? We actually might have gotten cut off. But they're, they're fixing it, so... Um, yeah. I mean, I, I just... I love transport helicopters. I wish they weren't taking them out of the game. It makes sense for them, too, but still. Look how fast these speedy boys are going. They have up to 38 divisions now. So they're, over 700,000 have died. Oh, my goodness. I mean, how do you expect to even garrison this amount of territory with what we have here? Land of fire, nice. As Foot and Shona stepped onto the blood-soaked eyes, he could not hide the frown that was forming. He knew that most of Goring's men were fighting in some hellhole, with all the logistical pains that brought it. Shona knew that this had been a risky move, taking some of the fellow Kriegsmarine ships loyal to him and taking Ison in one fell swoop. What Shona had not expected was an island almost entirely devoid of soldiers. He heard stories of prowess of the small but elite soldiers and troops that had been stationed here for over 20 years. In all honesty, had... All there had been was a brief but bloody skirmish at the beachhead, costing him more than 60 men. He now stood inside the small camp, erected for the degenerate Americans. All 12 of them liquidated without mercy. There had been also a single scout that was now in the dark room in the nearest boat. That degenerate American would learn how to cooperate. Hashona, Hashona came a voice from behind him. It was a thin man, much less nervous than Shona would have preferred. Yes, Obus Frederick? The American has ex decided to cooperate and has explained this island's vacancy. Explain. It appears that the Americans, in their decadent stupor, have been rather taken aback by the actual invasion on their home front. This led to the president calling for an immediate withdrawal of all foreign-based troops. Shona was angry. Not only had he as of yet been unable to outmaneuver that dude of a Fiora, but he also couldn't have a little fun. That booty had taken the one thing he enjoyed from him, yet again Shona had been sidelined by that fat dude. Command Shona for a stunning victory. He may try again for a shot at glory. Oh, when do we get this? Oh, Canada, we're coming for you. Hey, Norfolk is ours. Great. Do we have any spare ships? Got another sub. You guys have got to be learning more. Seeking glory. With a jolt that came from the transport ship as it hit land, Shorna woke up and smiled, realizing that the terrible trip was over for uh, quite a while. Uh, he had his thought that the invasion of the Panama Canal would be like the invasion of England all those years ago, but it seemed that that age had finally caught up on him, and his enjoyment of boats turned into a seasick nightmare. 
but sure enough to shook these thoughts away and look forward for the massive firefight ahead to seize the canal. He knew that the Americans would be there and the thousands to make sure they could supply the war at home, which is the reason why a naval invasion was chosen for the attack, so their men would be caught off guard as they were at the border. But instead of hearing German soldiers charging and gunfire spraying, he heard confused voices and an odd peacefulness. He frowned and got to the deck of the ship where he was on. His heart dropped when he looked at the canal. There wasn't a single soldier there, just workers looking and pointing at them. Where were the soldiers? Why didn't the Americans defend the canal? He demanded a soldier to ask one of the workers, but only one of them spoke German, which infuriated Schorner. They even had withdrawn the American workers and had left natives. They left a few weeks ago, began the German-speaking worker about it, how a massive withdrawal of foreign troops was happening due to a classified enemy, which didn't fool anyone. We all know you Germans were coming. Not a single soldier was left. If you had come with a crippled dying man with a Luger, we would have surrendered. Schorner was about to explode with rage and disappointment, because a thought came to his mind. Weeks ago? Goring spies have been keeping tabs on the canal for over a month. Why wasn't he told about this? Seeds of distrust began to form in his mind and made a mental note in his head for later to ask Goring about this. He had other things to do before that, like taking control of the world's greatest canal. It was a victory, if an empty one. I'll show up, wait for my command next time. Always robbed of glory. Always, always, always. Nothing here. I, what are the, no upgrades? Why? Why? No upgrades. I, I do all the naval stuff for upgrades only. <laughs> God, we just moved so fast. So good. Man, if you had tried to do TNO multiplayer and use helicopters, I mean, you would just... And you were competent at using them. Like, it would not even be fair, man. It just would not be fair, probably. Fort Bragg? I heard that that Confederate general was actually really, really bad. Oh, yeah. Do we have this stuff? Oh, we do. Might as well use it, right? Yeah, do that too. Why not? There you go. Perfect. Air assault. Yeah. Soft attack and organization. Why not? Good. More divisions go bye-bye. So they have up to 31 divisions. Exactly. 30 divisions now in America. And 35 from Australia. And... Uh, some of the West Indies, New Zealand, Canada has seven. We're almost in Canada. Quite literally. We've taken half California, more than half of Nevada, all of the South, a good chunk of the Midwest, all of Indiana. Huh. We're actually going to start Latin America, and this is actually us up here. Going a lot more smoothly than I thought it would. Yeah, they're really trying to station DC. DC has been cut off. Nice. Oh boy, oh boy, oh DC has fallen. DC has fallen. We repeat, DC has fallen to the German advance. Oh, the soldiers here too, look at that. The infantry finally showed up. World War III, once considered an impossible nightmare. Perhaps the final war in human history has begun, as the war has finally broken out between the German Reich and the U.S. of M US of A. After years of smaller invasions of lesser neighbors, the Reich and the U.S. have engaged in a final titanic struggle over the fate of the world upon Hermann Göring's order. Both America and Germany in preparation for such a scenario have massively built up nuclear stockpiles, well more than enough to end human civilization, as it's currently known. As the first dockpiles over the, occur over the Atlantic, millions of men report to their respective divisions and gigantic naval fleets set on the greatest mission yet. A situation feared by billions becomes reality. Only one thing is certain, the end is near. The Americans shall be reminded of the taste of defeat. Cool. A dirge for freedom. And which now is Canadian time, shall we? Oh, Canada. I don't want to capitulate Australia. I really don't. Oh, the Americans still there. Unalaska. All right, well, cool. Let's, let's take out Canada for now, right? Right. No one's invaded Australia yet or these guys, which kind of sucks. But we'll see what happens. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, we sunk the pride of the fleet. USS Kitty Hawk. Nice. I highly recommend you play or switch to two to th three game speed. Cool. All right. And the good old U.S. of A. The U.S. has always had an affinity with us, whether they wish to admit it or not. Did the late fear not take inspiration from many of their systems of racial hierarchies and seek to create a state where those, those systems could be applied without Jewish influence that had corrupted the Americans? If we are the final product, then America is at least a prototype. There are some who would, even now, listen to the call of a truly pure state and work to make our, the, their own land as glorious. Particularly in the deep southeastern region, there are many groups dedicated to fighting their influence of lesser races and peoples. We shall sound a trumpet blast, and they shall rise up to defend their homes, not from us, but from their true enemies, the Jews and... And 
The Africans, and look at those casualties, not bad. My apologies about that, everyone, but let's continue on. It is now, of course, 1978, and you can see some Italian boys making their way over to immigrate to probably New England. Cool. Actually, I can't imagine Canada lasting for too long here. Yeah, they've already lost 5,000 people, 6,000 people. 61% of the way towards, 72% of the way towards capitulation. Excuse me. But, uh, yeah, I don't think they'll stand up for that long, but I could be wrong. We can always be wrong. Let's see. Ooh, Fort Franklin, yes. Oh, heavy cruiser. Very nice. Uh, anything down here? Oh, two more cruisers. Oh, carriers. Oh, another carrier. Another heavy cruiser. Nice. Two destroyers. And another... Jesus Christ. So many cruisers or carriers being destroyed. Latin America is taking a bit too much for me to like, but white knight rise up. It is one of the most glorious and yet one of the most pathetic sights in American history. With all of agitators on the ground and on the radio waves, fear of goring has called upon the millions of white racists across the American South to rise up in support of an America in the fear's image, a racially pure one. Incredibly, tens of hundreds of thousands of Southerners have taken up arms to fight for a cause. Apparently, they either wish to be crushed under a boot or do not know what they want. Across several states, bands of white knights have seized land and begun fighting their, against their American overlords, and were rapidly preparing armed shipments to be sent to these uprisings. Fight for your race. Um... Would it only be the South? I'm gonna get we'll probably be mostly looking at the South, but would it only be the South? I mean, there's a lot of territory here, but hey, you never know. Oh, look at these! Oh, we actually have them. The uh, White Knights of Georgia, Tennessee, Flor Florida, Alabama. Where's not Arkansas? These guys kind of suck. These White Knights. Sorry, man. No one likes White Knights, I guess, but like. Yeah, don't be cringe. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, and... Hey, Canada, thanks for playing. America, you're not done yet. Thank you. Come again. So that's the case. We're going to send some boys back here because we got some dirty things to do. And by dirty, I mean completely clean. Nothing filthy at all. Totally not going to cut these guys out. Totally, 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 totally not. Cool. And, oh, oh, we have another focus, too. It'll happen there. Fascism in America is inevitable and always has been. Whether it would only come through popular will or bulls was the only true question. It seems that the American people, or at least their Judeo-Bolshevik enraptured leaders, have chosen the latter, but they're still attempting to save many racially pure lives from utter destruction. The group of sympathizers within the U.S. that failed in its attempt to assassinate the president was never fully caught, and they are once again offering their services at this point. With the war having already begun, there's not much chance of a political change of heart on the American side still, according to these men. If they were able to eliminate a large portion of the U.S. Congress, the government might feel the need to sue for peace. Hardly any more promising than their last proposal, but why not? We stand to lose nothing. Because we still have you to deal with, don't we? Cool. So those guys are gone, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Obviously, their ships are probably still there, but we can probably deal with them with some effort. So let's take you guys off, because we like taking those guys off. Uh, cool. And now it's time to do what we need to do. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Time to come to the Coral Sea. What's going on down here? Alright, alright. Convoys, not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, hopefully these guys make it over there. You guys heading on over to Alaska? A stupid operation. We can't possibly have expected these American nutcases to have achieved an operation as simple as frying an egg, so it's no surprise that the complex and immensely difficult task we gave them of blowing up the U.S. Capitol and killing the President was a hilarious failure. The Bund agents, alongside Gordon Moore's odd Christian identity paramilitary group, attempted to storm the capital at the break of dawn, and the majority of them were gunned down during the attack. A few of them did manage to get inside and shoot some random congressmen, guards, and bureaucrats, but the president was safely evacuated from D.C. the moment the attack began. There's no easy way to end this war like we had hoped, but at least we have managed to wreak some havoc upon the American government. It's... something. Their last best dimmed... their last best hope dimmed. Oh, look at that. It is finished. After the most intensive battle the world shall ever see, the guns have fallen silent as the world wakes to the realization of the new order that was promised has been truly established. There's no more democracy. There is no more United States of America. Their military has been crushed, their leaders executed, their lands partitioned between a puppet regime and two rex commissariats. The nation that once positioned itself as the greatest rival has begun, been utterly defeated. With this victory, there's no force on earth that can stand up to us any longer. Seek Heil, seek Heil, seek Heil! Well, I get 500 more political power, the eagle shot down. We'll get there eventually. Are there any other focuses we could take here? It doesn't really look like it. I mean, obviously, we can still do this one, too. Which, at this point, we might as well do. The Black Sun Eclipse. If you want to about that, please go right ahead. Cool. Can is still coming back out. That's all right, whatever. We'll deal with them. These guys are moving as best as they can, so. Um, Ship-wise, we should be getting closer to here. So, we'll see. 
Um, they're still repairing. I mean, it's going to take a while to repair. Pro oh, that's not much. Uh, three days. That's going to take a couple days. Yeah, battleships, early battleships. Oh, my goodness. There's so much that needs to get repaired here, really. The Black Sun Eclipse. But when the night shines on all the inhabitants of Europe, the sun always remained in the strangest form it can possess. Desperately seeking rescue, German troops entered Ostpers today, killing every SS soldier they could encounter. During this invasion, one could see everything. German soldiers who were not used to the horror of this magnitude. The conquests were accompanied by general outrage, the level of which was exceeded by the Germans several times. During his arrival in the conquered territory, Sermon Goring was always emphasizing chivalry over the defeated and captured, but this time it was an extremely absurd request, which Sermon Goring himself did not hesitate to trample on. Just let the torture know his destiny. Arriving in Osparis, the central building from which death came as during the plague, killing one after another. Goring's troops surrounded it. Without mercy, whoever you see, shoot, do not show mercy to those who do not know it. The leader of this attack spoke, and with a wave of his hand, established what everyone already knew. Himmler had nowhere else to go. Hermann Goring appeared, alone in the front of the central building, wanting to see from the foreground and grabbing the neck of the creature that had been ordered in this all along. All top SS officials were now trapped and did not want to be tortured like all those under them. I want them alive, alright? Don't kill them. I want to happen... I want that to happen quite easily, Goring said, watching this attack from the streets as a platoon slowly silenced their noise. Rushing inside, room after room was vacated until they surrounded Himmler's office, from which shots were fired. What's going on there? Why did the shooting suddenly stop? Goring said nervously, looking out the windows. A few minutes later, all soldiers came out punished with a, without a trace of Himmler. What happened? Goring asked briefly, as I looked at him hopelessly. The coward decided to commit suicide a moment before we broke into the office. I don't know what else to say. Nothing, soldier. Nothing. It's not your fault that he was always a poor coward hiding behind a chicken farm. In front of the crowd, Herman Goring stopped, telling people how happy they are to have him today on the podium, freeing them from the restraint imposed upon them by the SS. Goring showed everyone the hanging bodies of all participants in the Burgundian Terror, swaying like a pendulum, in a light wind that brought a slightly larger form of freedom. The worst is over. The worst is over. Burgundy's finally fallen. Goring saved people from eternal suffering, all according to my plan. All according to plan. Look how much political power we have now. Nice. Um, there's still stuff about Shorner and such, but I don't really want to deal with them yet, so... We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, there's not really much else here except for the America one. We did everything, all the research. This has been one heck of a campaign, I'll be honest. Like, it's been a very, very long camp. And if you want to do about this, please go right ahead. And uh, we have uh, end political inter interfere ants. All right, it is what it is. Cool. And we still have tax them all, but I don't want to tax them all. Yeah. We are a generous Reichsführer. Very generous. Um, Are you guys going there yet? What's going on? You're still, oh my gosh, you're still doing that. All right, that's okay. How is the capture of Alaska going? It is. It is going. All right, then. You guys are cool. Have a good old time. Let's head on over to Asia, shall we? Let's do the best we can. Maybe. You'll see. Anything over here? It's nice. Convoys. My goal that I'm hoping for is that... For these guys... Oh! Oh, nice, nice job, guys. Someone will hopefully invade them, I hope. I don't want to have to enable them. I hate invading Australia. It sucks. It really does. I wish we, if we just capitulated America, these guys would die too, but I guess not. They don't have even that many guys anyways. So if you guys could hurry up and just move, that'd be great. Um, yeah. Tasman Sea, cool. The Great Australian Bight. Or Blight. Something like that. Just go all surround all these nations, that's fine. That That is very... Look at, what, why is it like that? Oh, you guys are already... Look, look, the ships are there, nice. Nice. Oh, we have some allies here too. Eastern Naval Authority, they have four... Four carriers. Okay, that's very weird. What is this down here? It looks so weird. South, far South Pacific. Cool guys, please, please just go in. You can just naval invade, can't you? Oh, nice job, guys. Nice job. Alaska's looking beautiful. Come on down to Asia, please and thank you. As we're getting ready to invade Iran, so let's go take a little bit of time. But that's okay with us. What do we have over here? Any convoys? Two more convoys sunk. Good. Two more convoys sunk, and then two more convoys sunk. Oh, it's not to love. Hmm. Look at that construction. Oil crisis affects really... Oh, yeah, we still have the oil crisis. Forgot about that. When's the last time we had technology actually finished? Look at all this stuff. Beautiful. They gotta be only trading with themselves. There's literally no one else they could trade with, right? We are technically at war with them, right? Oh, yeah, I guess America's still here, huh? Kind of sucks. Uh, give me one of you guys. Head on into here. You can do that. That's fine. Go all the way. There's probably not very many roads, but you're going to make one. You're going to make it. You're going to like the way you look. All right, where are y'all at? Oh, you're actually... Oh, you're almost there. That's good. Um, I think we're just going to do this now. So let's go allow Diplo. 
So now we're going to kick him out of the faction. And we will go to war with them soon. Not yet, but soon. Kick him out and we'll take him out. Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Grab some of that too. Nice. Oh. Oh, we have to... Oh, okay. They're just trying to get over there. That's fine. Whatever. Don't care. Don't really care. Come on, guys. You're doing great getting down there. And that's more... At this point, research doesn't really matter. Yeah, it really doesn't matter too much. What's a debt like? We have a big old deficit. That's not too bad. As long as the GDP keeps growing, that's all I care about, right? That's all we care about. Yeah, you're all taking a while. We're still trying to build more naval bases here, more roads. Uh, how are the tanks doing? Because they should be down there first, technically. They do be taking a while. Not gonna lie. Oh, sorry, yawning too. Oops. All right. Very good. Oh, not you. There you go. Australia. Wow, we've got a lot of Australians. Oh, we must have killed a single uh, New Zealand division. I thought they had a division, but I guess not anymore, huh? All right, fine with us. Let's go, 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 go. Usually when we do this, our allies get involved and they take someone out, but they're not doing that right now. Oh my gosh, you're moving so slowly. I thought you were trucks and motorized. Why can't you move faster on water? Hmm. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. Seriously, who's going to be first? I'm just happy to take the divisions. They suck. But they're okay. They're not really that bad, but still. Uh, Canberra. Thank you. Thank you. Oh! Oh, and that's the island that, uh, that does make for, like, not a line and such. Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Not gonna lie, we're looking really good. Too good, maybe. Semi-modern. Jet transports, because you can. Because you can. Mm, you Come here, too. Do you know Australia when? Maybe someday. Anything else over here? Oh, oh, there we go. Rex Commissar. Oh, wait, we don't... Are you kidding me? Great, Rex Commissar Pacific. Bro. I gotta have Florida, man. There we go. Now we own Florida. Well, Rex Commissar America. We'll do that soon. And for this one, we need what? California and California. So we need two Californias. All right. That's so control state. Um. There's that California. California times two. Where was that part of California? And wow, that's why is it liking so hard? So we can do it too. Cool. And we'll do that soon. Nice. Oh my gosh. Are they there? Okay, so these people are fine. Thank God. All right, so it should be really easy. Just send one guy in. You should be able to just nail it, right? You should be able to. Darwin, we love Darwin. He taught us a lot. Come over here. Eastern Naval Authority. Just go right there. That honestly should be good enough. That really should be. Go when you can. Please, please, please. Now, I want to say this for after the, the stuff is dead. There's nothing. Oh, we can invite Iran. Oh, we, would, we do want to go to war with them. So we must do that now. Can we actually go to war yet? Oh my gosh. Why are you taking so long, guys? Love of God, it's just turkey. Um, 488 nuclear reactors. That's not enough. Saving out the inevitable. Into oh, we can integrate Lesser Burgundy. We will focus on integrating Ausland, but due to this, we'll be unable to further loot the former Rex Commissariat. Wait, what? Wait, what? That says Burgundy. Well, I guess not. All right. All right, well, whatever. Wasn't really expecting that. The war cabinet. I mean, what is this here for? Like, I, I I like knowing that who is in a war cabinet, but like, can we shuffle it around? Maybe I think that'd be kind of cool if we could shuffle it. Oh, we're off. Hey, nice. Go ahead.
Come on. Uh, why do I have to manually control you? Seriously. Still waiting for that one over there too. You guys are doing okay over here as well. There you go. See, not bad. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can we just go, please? Well, I don't know why you're taking so long, but okay, whatever. Just go and snipe everything they got. Wagga Wagga, nice. There's a lot of places in Australia. I heard the center's pretty hot though. Birdsville? Well, now we're gonna get cut off. Come on, you dinguses. Move in. They've gotta be giving up soon, right? No, right? Ah. There's a reason why we use the transport helicopters. There we go. Alright, so now everyone can focus on over here. And go right there and go right to Christchurch. Nice. And that should be good enough. And that should be the entire OFN, right? Right. And we've done it, my friends. We've done it. Oh, God. It's lagging super hard, guys. I apologize for this. Oof. It's very laggy. So laggy that I see my blue mouse wheel. And... It's literally... Oh, hello. Beautiful, is it not? Okay, so now we have Rex Commissar at Ozian. Ah, Bernard Roger. Sorry, guys. It's time for you to finally die. Oh, I apologize for the lag. So we did All right, everyone. So I got tired of... I, I literally just waited for two minutes. Three minutes. Just waiting for things to, like, go. It's still, it's still lagging. Are you kidding me? Man, this... The Hoi 4 needs... Definitely a new engine, man. It's it's just why? Why do you have to lag that hard, baby? Why do you have to hurt yourself so hard? Cause you like it. That's right. But yeah, Bernard Roga, not bad. Um, we have Rex. Hello. Oh, we're under there. Come on, sir. It's America. Um, Hans Joachim Hellman, which do we do have the Fallen Eagle, which is really whoa. How much do you have? The White Knights request reinforcements. Offer the carrot. Beat them with a stick. Everything's bigger. Whoa. Introduce Nuremberg laws. Send in the clan. Eradicate their history. Tear down monuments. Well then. Okay. Oh. Why does Missouri a Reichs Commissariat? What? Why? And, and one thing. Why is there so much lag here? But Felsengeberg. Um, do we have that? No, we got. No, that should be it, right? Yeah, Pacific. Oh, Rainbow's there. Look at that. Any focus screen? Nope. Uh, all right. Gunter Lutzo. Lutzo. I don't like this. Why does Missouri have a unique Rex Commissariat? Right. And why is Bismarck the capital? I guess there's a lot of Germans up there, but like, I guess you wouldn't make St. Louis. I mean, St. Louis would make more sense, at least in my opinion. Or even Minneapolis. But Bismarck? Okay, whatever. I love this. Rex Commissariat America. That looks beautiful. Oh, they even have West Virginia there. Ah, look at that flag. Look at that flag. It's just... Oh, my goodness. And then we have Verna Moldes. <sighs> Why Ohio? It's not even... <sighs> your, your, your capital's Detroit. How is it Ohio? Yeah, there's a lot of Germans here but in Ohio, but like... Wisconsin, Michigan... Especially Wisconsin. Illinois? Like, bro. Not even Chicago, but Detroit. I mean, I guess I can understand that, but Ohio? Who named that? I like this one, though. 
We're actually going to start Atlantic. This looks really... I like this one. I love blue. This looks so good. Oh, Shona. Oh, you arrived. Last Bastion of Liberty. Oh, so you're basically what America is. Yeah. Ray of Hope. Moderate oil concessions. Oil crisis. The Free Act. Yeah, I don't know about you being free anymore. Rax Commissariat. Oh, so that's where someone says Kubek. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Why is it called Kubek? Um, we have Rax Commissariat Loratine. Nice. Borealm. You look familiar. Hmm, Hans Rudolf Rosing. And we have Pacific. Oh, it's just one long Pacific. That's really cool. I like that. I like that. America looks so good. Oh. Got a little southern chub going. But anyways. Iran's gotta die. And they'll end the episode. And then tomorrow, I'll... It'll be a probably bonus episode. Maybe two more episodes in this campaign. Probably max. Yeah, probably two. Well, all I can say is I'm glad I did this while the sub mod for Goring's Wild Ride has been updated. As well as we still have transport helicopters. Holy crap. If we didn't have them, uh, we'd probably be sunk. We'd all pretty pretty much really be sunk, so... I'm really glad we got transport helicopters. Rest in peace. Someday. Someday. They have so much resistance there. Holy... They're out of manpower. No wonder. They can make as much equipment as they want. They have no manpower, though. Cool. And... Just kill them off, man. Just kill them off. Let's go, guys. Let's go. But yeah, I like I like this. I mean, I don't care for the Pacific or this one. I don't like Missouri or Ohio now. But this is just oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love the shape of Texas. The shape of Texas is in Florida, and I love this one too. I love this one so much. You know, it's kind of weird. DC. Would you imagine DC having the same culture as Boston and the same culture as Buffalo? Maybe. But it's a bit odd to me. Pittsburgh. Here's a gateway to the Midwest. We right there. Sorry. Also, we gotta do this one too. I forgot about this focus. My bad. There we go. Oh, there's another one too. Oh! Holy crap! How much is there? Oh, there's another one? Order. Oh, wait, what? Execute order 60. What? Oh, they, these are all connected. I didn't realize that, so I used the consequence for nothing. My bad, guys. My bad. Um, Yeah, I'm learning here, too. I'm learning like you guys. I had no idea. Wait, why did GDP go down so much? Alright, so the end is near. The Okay, so we need this one done, too. No, 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 no. Hold on. Their last bast hope dimmed. So we need to finish that one off, which is fine. We're no longer at war, and now it's Rex coming to start Persian. Cool. And Von Baldison. Very cool. Wait, what happened to you? Why are you all the way over there? Well, it's definitely been a campaign. I'll give you that. One heck of a campaign, man. Um, Y'all doing okay. I'll send you to Asia. Y'all doing okay. I'll send you to Asia. You know what? Because y'all are doing okay, I'm going to leave you alone. And you know what? You're doing okay. I'm going to leave you alone as well. Um, I might just use cons commands, so... But after this, let's go ahead and start reading about this one. The end is near. Not even the b three biggest powers in the world could stand up to us. The U.S. is split up and subdued. Japan is balkanized and the rogue state is but a distant memory. Who is there left to stop us now? In 14 days, I think I'm just going to use Consequence say just focus autocomplete. Um, did we miss anybody here? Uh, there's ourselves and there's the unaligned territory. No, everyone is literally dead. Except for the... Well, um, they're under us. What is this? Is it worth... Wait, what? Go! I like this going shot. Look at that. Oh, that, oh, that's ours. Oh, that's ours. Okay, that's actually really cool. I love going shot. Uh, who doesn't? Oh, oh, we have this one. Loratine. I didn't see this one. Ah, Lehman Villenbrock. GGR. The eagle shot down. Him and Goring entered his office, ceremoniously dressed, looking for something that would resemble the uh, event he ordered to be organized, so that he could show the German nation, as well as the whole world, that no one stronger than Germany exists, and that anyone who dares to stand in her way will never succeed in overcoming her, because no one will ever be able to flee from this moment, or be able to from this moment. From New York to Washington, from Florida to Kentucky, and from the Midwest to the Washington State, and the Pacific Coast, the troops remain mowed down by the strength of German steel and their will. Gory knew that no one would ever be able to burst out again and to say, We will stop you and we will not stop until we die. And if he says, 
he will die trying to stop the unstoppable. The sun was shining brighter than ever while Gordon was looking forward to his day, which he had been waiting for so stressfully. And for so long, he did not want to stop looking outside the window, imagining himself as the master of the whole world. But it was time. It had to be shown to the people that had been what achieved during his time, this time, the operation or duration of Fall Rockwell. Appearing before him, uh, before the people, he waved at them, while the people worshipped him as a kind of god, which he was, because he defeated the last enemy of the growing Germany. Dear people, my dear Germans, I have gathered you here today to point out to you the, uh, the point of your fatherland, which we have been building for so long, which we have soaked and glued with blood, just so that it does not collapse before its glory, in which we are here to you again. I say, succeed it. Perfidence will never be stronger than will, just as a pretentiousness will never beat or steal. The U.S. has succumbed, unable to stand any more of our hectic or heroic tropes that have ravaged anything that could have served as a counterattack opportunity, or the dead eagle of the so-called freedom that they present as a lie served to the people, because we are telling them now, salvation has come to you today, with the arrival of Germany, a do the dawn of a new age, my friends. And Germania rules the waves. The Kriegsmarine, once the mighty high sea fleet, rebuilt from the ash from what from which it was left in after World War One, a mighty navy which managed to, use to best the Royal Navy in World War Two, and that both the U.S. Navy and the IJM, truly the hidden backbone of the Reich, let the bombs rain. On December 8, 1908, papers claimed that man wouldn't be able to fly for at least one million years. Nine days later, the Kitty Hawk was successfully tested. Since then, the air has been one of the most important things in all of warfare. Our army may have been one of the ones conquering the land, but it would have been impossible without the men in the air and bombs raining. Nice. And it is quite laggy. Like, it's fine with me, but whatever. Since we're pretty close to the advanced transport helicopters, let's get some improved aerial refueling. I think that'd be pretty good. Oh, nice. End is near. Oh, yeah, for these people it is. Um, yeah, we'll keep the Germany rules of waves, and the army keeps marching on. The Wehrmacht, the reason why we all have land that we do. The reason why German Reich was able to exist in the first place. From its routes in the glorious Prussian army of the 17th and 18th century, to the one that conquered most of the world, our army shall march on. Recovery rate, division speed, soft attack by 30%, nice. The time to strike has come. The Wehrmacht, the Luftwaffe, and the Kriegs may all stand ready, where it is there to stop them, and execute Order 66. Comrade Chorn, the time has come, execute Order 66, yes, my lord. Cool. Alright, so this one done yet? Nah, I'll just do FA. Screw it. Ready to go. Shona enters Goring's room and smiles. He doesn't smile a lot. We are ready, my fear. The Luftwaffe are ready to take off from the airfields and flatten the enemy. The Wehrmacht, or Wehrmacht, are ready to march on forwards into our enemy's land and conquer it. And the Kriegsmarine is ready to sink our enemy's vessels on the high seas. Goren looks up to Shona. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Just your order, my fear. Shona responds. The time has. Come. What's gonna happen? Me oh, medium? Medium, mediums. Interesting. Well, I did want to do this one just like last, just because. Let's see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen. Um. It could be better. Spartan discipline. Oh, it's getting worse every month. That sucks. Nuclear stockpile is getting better, but we're gonna have a massive stockpile, anyways. Research facilities, at least, are doing very well. Uh, today, the largest military action has begun on the German side around the world, which does not remember this scale since the end of World War II, and massive military operations against the U.S., Japan, and Burgundy. After German troops around the world invaded territories unconquered on the knees of all the military leaders who dared to take the name of the military leader, German troops recorded several significant victories after the first breakthroughs, and it seems that the Wehrmacht has no plan to stop. The whole world is watching as the German army and the German state trample everything in front of them. The triumph. Goring was absolutely beaming. So ecstatic that he could barely keep himself from breaking out and dance. Oh, it was so large. He stood behind the podium of the Reichstag and looked upon them like a king would his subjects, maybe even a god. In the back, General Sean and Ramos stood stony-eyed, or stone-faced, eyeing Goring and the rest of the compiled Reichstag with suspicion or maybe hunger. Like dogs eyeing their next meal, Goring however paid them a little mind. This was not about them. This was about him and his greatest achievement yet. He has surpassed even Napoleon in his achievement, and has well and truly conquered the world. From Alaska to Tokyo and from Johannesburg to Helsinki, the German army marches triumphantly and the German flag waves majestically. After a beat, he began to speak and give what he would become the most important speech of his life. Countrymen, I come to you today to announce the last vestiges of enemy forces have surrendered to the Wehrmacht, and our conquests are well and truly complete. Wherever the sun touches the land, the gift of national socialism has been given to its people. I have been compared to such historical giants such as Alexander, Napoleon, or late and great Adolf Hitler himself. However, I must decline such comparisons, for I am greater. Did Alexander land on the beaches of Virginia and subjugate the American dogs? No. Did Napoleon march through Japan on the back of his mighty steed and have the emperor's personal surrender? No. Did Adolf Hitler march to Wehrmacht to Kamchatka? 
to finally destroy the spirit of the Russian Untermensch? No! They all left their jobs half done, and by God's divine, I will have finally finished it. Me, Germany, now holds sway over 7 billion people, and all the world's resources because of me. The Slavs and Afrikaners have finally learned their place because of me. The German people have a standard of luxury unparalleled at any point of time in history because of me. I did it. I conquered the world. Naysayers and critics have been silenced. Germany has her eternity in the sun, and all because of me. Goring Bean began, but it was suddenly interrupted by a loud voice coming from the back of the room. Be quiet, you bad man. Goring looked to find foot in a shorter, trailed by Unstrema, walking down one of the aisles towards him. He was smirking. God, g gosh darn it. Goring hated that effing rat, effing smirk. Who are you to talk to me, you fear? Are you a god? Goring boomed. I'm the man who got you where you are now, or have you forgotten? It's an open secret here that you would be nothing but a senile old man without me. You are my puppet. Now you have conquered the world for me, and you are not useless. A puppet without use is mere garbage. Your role is ended. Goring looked around at the collected Reichstag members looking for support, and... Is that it? What happened? No. Whoa! Look at him! He's kind of handsome! He's kind of more old and kind of handsome-ish. It helps if he's not like 400 pounds, but still. Look at that. Now Goring goose up arm in arm on what many would consider a rapid road to the destruction of the Reich. Well, I don't know about that, but... Is that it? Is that really it? I apologize. I'm sure you guys can find it. Um, if there's like more like the super events fish for a wild, wild ride. But hey, I guess that's going to be it for this video. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, we're still going to go do this one. Investigate the blood. We're going to do this a lot. The Free American Alliance. Uh, the KKK influence. As well as the bare minimum. So we'll be doing that route as well. But I think I might try to go back and do the Wrangle the Reichstag. Just, just see what happens before War Plan C. So hey. I would appreciate it if you guys could maybe leave a like, maybe subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we watch the world tremble with the might of Goring at his, its big handsome daddy. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.